Hello, my country people. Now, welcome back home. Oh, I'll be to know the election we just passed. Not just give person mouth. In fact, it is this period where we day for Nigeria. It is um, a sober reflection time. I know say a lot of people they very disappointed with this election. In fact, make we not call them election. It is the worst of it all so far in the history of Nigeria, if we say so. But make we no lose hope because we believe that God has not forsaken Nigeria. Yes. So on that note, journalist Rufai Oxini has come out to give his own thought and a kind of like a question to the leaders that are celebrating. Waiting they win. What is their gain? What did they win? How is it? Did they win the people over just like it's supposed to be? Or did they just win just for their selfish ends? Did they win the people's trust or their discontent? I go live in my country. People make on hear from Rufai. How it is they ask them what exactly are they celebrating? Because a country where people are no more allowed to exercise their own franchise willingly. Hmm. That country. Hmm. Anyway, just watch the video, hear from him, and let me know what you think at the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll go there sooner for my next upload. For those that have won, I'll ask you this. What did you win? Did you win the confidence of the people? Or you won intimidation and fear of the people? Did you win the belief of the people? Or you won their disbelief in what Nigeria has become, sadly? Did you win the trust of the people or you won the discontent of the people? Did you truly win them over or you won chaos on the streets? Did you truly win the affirmation of the people or you won the coercion of the people? Did you really win the togetherness of the people? Or you want the division of the people because of your own innate selfish benefits? Did you truly win the love of the people? Or you want the disgust of the people? So I ask again, for all of those that won by coercing the people, what did you win, I ask you? One day we'll come, we'll grow old, we'll be in our dying beds. And we take a panoramic view of our lives. Would you truly say that this was a moment you were proud of? Would you truly tell your children that this is a moment I can bequeath to you as my legacy? Would you truly say it was a sweet victory? Because after all is said and done, life will have stripped you to bare knuckle. It will be a preparation to meet your maker. And you will take a panoramic view of your life. You've got nothing to hide or no shame. You are no longer who you used to be. It is going to be you and your conscience. What will you say to yourself about this moment? And that's why today should be a time of introspection. I believe Nigeria can heal despite the brokenness in the country today. But for us to heal, we need to tell ourselves the truth. And for those that did win in a clean way, that got the affirmation of the people, Continue to do your good work. Continue to win the trust of the people. But in all of this, have we truly won togetherness?